I guess this is mine, right? All right, you good? Yeah, you good? All right, all right. All right, basically, about to do... I'm going to do my standing pressure. And... What else am I going to do? I'm going to pump down and equal, and I'm going to equalize at the end. So, this is how you would do it. Basically, you want to take your king and queen vowel cast off. You want to take these off. And you want to make sure that these are back seated before I take these caps off. So, I'm about to check and make sure that I'm back seated. Back seated. Alright, so now I can remove these. And also on this side. I don't know if you can see it from there. I'm right here. Now, I'm gonna take my high line, my high side, put it on my discharge valve. Like so. Put it on my suction valve down here. You see that? Now I'm gonna miss my valves. And when I miss my valves, my gauge is gonna start to jump. Like so. Yeah, I want them to see that. So my low side jump up. And I'm only doing two turns on both sides. And watch my high side jump up. Like one, two. All right. Now, now I'm about to, this is how you would check your standing pressure. On your gauges, you would take your low side and your high side and add those two together. That's 95 on your low and 100 on your high side. So you add those two up. And then, there's more steps. I just don't feel like saying it. But uh, <laughs> we're going to go on my partner's old, old readings. He had 100. He had 100 for his low, 110 for his high. And you add those two and divide it by two. And then you have to go to your PT chart. And then when you get that, you would get the 95 and you divide that by two and you would get 181. Then the third step is you take the ambient temperature, which is your surrounding temperature, and add it by 25 because that's your inside temperature. Divide that by two and convert it. And when you take those two, you would take your step two from which you added and divided by, which was 110, and divided by 181, and your standing pressure was at 60%. Which that's what we needed at, 60% or higher. I mean, the system, that's good. So now we're gonna run the system right now. Now, now I'm about to pump down the system. So I'm gonna let it run for a little bit, let my meters, I mean, my gauges, let me equalize everything, everything's good. Alright. Alright, that's good. So now I'm gonna come over to my king bow. And I'm gonna front seat my king bow. When I front seat this, you wanna see my low side drop down. I'm trying to do it faster so I'm gonna start. What you want to do is, you want to make sure that goes all the way down to zero. The green is when you start to go into a vacuum, which I personally like to do myself. So I let it go in the vacuum to make sure I don't have any pressure coming out at all. So we're going to let that run for a minute. So we got low. I guess you, you don't got to stand there. You can do it back or something. <laughs> yeah, it's good, man. I might just let it get to zero because the video is moving down. It's moving down, though. It's moving down quicker than I thought, though. It really isn't good, but... Yeah, so that's not that's not really good if it's going down quicker than before. That means you really do have to leave. 
true. true. Yeah. I'm about to, yeah, it's about to hit the back end. So I'm good now. So now I'm about to shut off my system. And I should be able to take this off without any pressure coming off on it. Like so. Didn't hear anything. Didn't see nothing. So now you know you got to back down over here. So now. I'm about to do the last part, and we're going to equalize. So I'm going to turn my system back on. I'm going to run this for a little bit, because this system is small, so I'm going to do a little, like 20 seconds. Then I'm going to mid-seat my king back. The step that I almost forgot to do the first time I did. I'm going to mid-seat it first. You give it a chance to get everything to stabilize. Got everything stabilized real quick. They're equal, equalized, look like it's at 50 and at 50, we're going to close them both off. Good. Now you close them off. Now I can back seat. Suck you down. Which ain't going to take a few turns. Now I'm up Now that's back seated. This is back seated. And I'm not gonna have as much pressure coming out, especially on my high side. Low side, you ain't gonna get much over. I'm gonna do the low side first. You're gonna hear a little bit. Like that. So a little bit. On the high side is gonna be the same way. A little bit of air, but no refrigerant. That's the good part. And we're all set. You would. Do you need to do your standard temperature and stuff so after you stabilize? My standard pressure? Yeah, after you stabilize. We, we did our standard pressure before we even did everything. Before we pumped down. That's what, and that's when you're supposed to do your standard pressure. You do that before you do anything else. Right after you get your gauge it's hooked up, that's when you check your standard pressure. To do super cool, you want to do your super cool, I mean I said super cool, your super heat or your sub cool, that's where the meter will come in. For your super heat, you just do the same thing. You take your meter and run it on this line. You get the same thing for sub cool, you take your meter and run it on this line. But the, the math is just different. Because you would do... You would do your, you would do the pressure on your high side minus that temperature for superheat. Subcool, you would do the temperature on this side, even with your temperature minus what your pressure was. And the subcool, subcool would be. Good, a good a good temperature reading would be from from eight degrees.